Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on YouTube for all things dinosaur and prehistoric, so make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video from this channel. So as I mentioned in the last video, I recently watched Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and I absolutely loved it. And I absolutely loved all the new dinosaurs in the movie, including the Stiggy Moloch, which happens to be the dinosaur we're doing a quick dive on today. So first of all, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications for this channel so you don't miss any of the quick dives we do on dinosaurs in the future. Make sure you leave us a dinosaur sized thumbs up, comment down below your favorite dinosaur, and let's dive right into this dinosaur with a very, very weird name, the Stiggy Moloch. So, Stiggy Moloch. Weird name, right? It actually means Styx Devil. Well, Styx, spelt like this in ancient Greek mythology, is actually a river and a deity that separates the earth from the underworld. So there's that. So where and when did this little weirdo live, huh? Well, the Stiggy Moloch existed roughly 80 to 66 million years ago during the Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic era in what is now North America. Yep, our Stiggy Moloch lived right alongside the giant T-Rex and the Triceratops. Oh, it also lived with these two cool dinosaurs named the Draco Rex and the Pachycephalosaurus. Wait a minute. Why did I decide to add those two dinosaurs in there right after saying two more famous dinosaurs? Quite frankly, that doesn't make any sense. I already added the names T-Rex and Triceratops to this video. There's seemingly no reason adding two less popular dinosaurs into the same group unless... It's a time for a side note! Yep. Well, five episodes in, you'd think I'd stop covering controversial dinosaurs, but no! On the Dinosaur Channel, we don't learn. Do we now? I just realized my life has turned to me speaking to stuffed dinosaurs on a shelf. So, we have to mention this before we get any further into this episode. This lovely Stiggy Moloch that you probably all fell in love with during Fallen Kingdom might not even be a real dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, save it. This isn't easy for me to do either. I don't like ruining dinosaurs for you. It just keeps happening this way. Why didn't I just choose something easy like the Triceratops? Have you ever heard of Taurosaurus? Mother f Yes, so the Stiggy Moloch's big scandal is the fact that many paleontologists believe that it was just a young Pachycephalosaurus. The most convincing factor to this is that every fossil of the Stiggy Moloch that's been found has been of a young Stiggy Moloch. And the fact that there are two other dinosaurs found in the same exact geographic location at the same exact geological time with domes on their head, or slight domes on their head. It's proof enough for paleontologists to say, hey, we don't need 50,000 dinosaurs, we could have one. Still a bit confused? Yeah. We all are. Let me break this down for you. Essentially, there's this theory going around in the scientific community that many dinosaurs found at the same dig sites are actually just the same dinosaur named differently. And more notably, the same dinosaur just at different periods of its life. So when paleontologists go out and dig and find these fossils, the dinosaurs actually look very different. In reality, that makes sense, but on paper, it doesn't add up. So for the Stiggy's sake, he's being grouped up with everyone's favorite, Pachycephalosaurus. But wait, it's not over. There's another dinosaur that fits into this weird evolutionary chain, and that is the Dracorex. Yep, that's a real dinosaur name. So the brief version of the story is that the Dracorex is the youngest, the Stiggy Moloch is in the middle, and the Pachycephalosaurus is the adult. All the same dinosaur being a Pachycephalosaurus, just at different periods of its life. Evidence shows that they all had spikes on their skulls and domes on their head, even though the Dracorex had a little itty bitty baby dome that was just growing. They all lived in the same area at the same time. Now, it's not my call to see if this is true or not, but I definitely do not not agree with the statement. I think it's totally possible that all three of these dinosaurs were the same exact dinosaur, but as of right now, they are all still their own beings, so we're going to treat them as such for the sake of this video. And I promise we will do a quick dive on the Pachycephalosaurus soon because I love that dinosaur. Jeez, that was a long side note. Okay, the next topic. Hi, little Stiggy Stig. What'd you look like? Well, the Stiggy Moloch was not a theropod, but it was part of the Ornithischia family. These, in essence, are just herbivore dinosaurs that eventually turned into birds. I'll definitely have to explain what that means in further detail another time. So this little dino baby cuteness was real cute, weighing only about 170 to 200 pounds. It was probably only about seven to 10 feet long and only about three feet tall. So just an adorable little animal. And the most obvious feature to its appearance is the little dome and spikes on its skull. We will explain more about those a little Later. As for how our favorite Stiggy Moloch got famous, well, the short answer is that it didn't. As for movies that the Stiggy Moloch is in, I've only been able to find two. One obviously being the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie where I think it was portrayed awesomely and it was very cool and such a lovable character. And two being Disney's dinosaur animated movie. In Disney's movie, it's really just a tiny side character which I think we eventually see dead on the side of the desert. Alright, Stiggy, what'd you eat? 
What'd you do? Let's jump into the diet and behavior of this strange looking animal. So as for food, it's easy. Plants, and lots of plants. Things that grew around North America tens of millions of years ago like ginkgos and fern seeds and club mosses. And estimates say that the Stygia Moloch probably only needed about 10 to 20 pounds of veggies a day to keep it rolling. Now how did the Stygia Moloch behave? Considering that the Stygia Moloch is its own dinosaur, in this video, which it isn't for sure, it would only make sense for us to guess that it probably behaved like many other pachycephalosaurids, browsing low to the ground for food, being a very fast runner, and probably herding around other bigger dinosaurs that could keep it protected. And of course, what we all want to know, Headbutting. Heck yeah, that dome was used for fighting. We know from the fossils of Pachycephalosaurus that the dome was definitely used for headbutting each other and probably other things that tried to attack it. So it's safe to assume it probably did the same with the Stygia Moloch. Now we obviously can't tell for sure that the Stygia Moloch used it to fight potential attackers and other Stygia Moloch, but we know that the Pachycephalosaurus did. Which means, and I'll say it again, if there's a chance that the Stygia Moloch and the Pachycephalosaurus are not the same animal, it would be safe to assume that the Stygia Moloch probably used the dome for kicking some serious dino butt. <laughs> Tread lightly, tall. Tread lightly. And that's Stygia done, ladies and gentlemen. Did you mo like it? See what I did there? Stygia Moloch. I can't say I don't absolutely love this dinosaur, but its story is really hard to nail down and obviously it has a controversial science and future behind it, so please go easy on me in the comments. I personally really enjoyed seeing this guy in the new Jurassic World film, and speaking of Jurassic World, make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications because we're covering every single dinosaur from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So if you like that movie and you want to learn more about the dinosaurs from it, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel. Also make sure to leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur that you want to see us cover in the future and if you like this channel you can support us by sending us a donation on paypal the link will be in the description your next dinosaur is going to be the baryonyx the lava covered psychopath and we'll see you then now goodbye